Everybody, first of all, I don't know why all the girls over there and all the guys over here, if you ain't talking to a girl, then you got to go, because this, this ain't that type of party. Diddy's parties have been the talk of the town lately. From Jamie Foxx taking the stand and spilling the truth to 50 Cent swearing off from attending one, there have been mixed feelings about Diddy's wild celebrations. And now, it's Kevin Hart's turn in the spotlight. Recently, footage of the comedian hosting one of Diddy's parties surfaced online and it raised some serious eyebrows. Turns out that all the rumors about Diddy's parties getting out of hand might have been true after all. I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin. Drinking, maybe fornication, man on man, woman on woman, he on she. Rumors about Diddy's crazy parties have been swirling around for years. The rapper might just be the great Gatsby of this generation. For decades, Diddy's parties have been exclusive events with only the most notable entertainers and leaders bagging invites. As for Diddy and Kevin Hart, the pair has always been on good terms. Hart has been frequently spotted at Diddy's parties, lightening up the mood with his on-point humor. Now, Diddy seems to reciprocate the brotherly love. A little more than he should, though. In an Instagram Live with Kevin Hart, Diddy called the comedian beautiful. Even Kevin seemed a little shocked at that one. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look beautiful. It was a I great move. You know, great I throw that product in there. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the product. You know, look, if you're using the product, fellow, don't be. However, Diddy might be switching up the tone now since footage of his secret parties with Kevin Hart was leaked. The footage shows the two buddies co-hosting a party, and get this, they get up to some questionable stuff. Listen to the joke that Kevin makes while Diddy asks people to dance. Seems like Diddy has a certain set of rules for the folks who attend his parties. Here he's asking people to take off their hats. Now, if your name ain't Sean Combs, you gotta take your hat off. <laughs> if your name ain't Sean Combs, no you're male, you gotta take your hat off. It's a hey. little bit disrespectful to be in my house yep. with your hat on, okay? Uh -huh. All y'all niggas are here with these hot ass scuddies on. Hey, yo, yeah. for real, for real. Hot ass girl. And get this, Diddy's own son was at the party. Hold on, where my son at? The light skinned dude with the good hair. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> It's one of them. It's one shouts of them. out to Lil Diddy one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shouts out, shouts out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like him. Uh, it's still in question. <laughs> we don't really know what's going on. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't nobody want to see that shit. The 20 minute footage is packed with shocking moments. However, one instance that caught fans' eyes was when Kevin took the party to the bathroom. You can see him surrounded by many girls in the bathtub. However, what's concerning is that Kevin looks like he's putting on a show. What's going on? It's official. We're here. Dirty Money album release party. Last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes. Got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub uh, doing it official. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Trey's up here. My nigga Fab's up here. You know, when you, when you have a scene like this, you got to bring bosses with you. As you see, it's female friendly. We got a ladies and a female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm not jumping, I'm not jumping the tub myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody moves out, you know, it's just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm using this time. During another instance, Kevin takes the party to Diddy's bedroom, and Diddy repeatedly asks Kevin to not get too close, even making the no homo joke. Judging from Diddy's body language, fans think that Diddy was simply acting for the camera. He didn't want his gay escapades filmed, hence the nervousness. We want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't, don't sit on the bed or not. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. Now, rumors about Diddy being gay have been swirling around since the 90s. Fans can understand why Diddy might have wanted to stay in the closet since the industry was not as open-minded back then. However, the problem isn't Diddy's sexuality here. It's the gay rituals that involve underage boys. For years, the streets have been talking about Diddy, luring young boys to his parties and forcing them to perform sexual favors, not just for himself, but for his close circle of elite friends. According to industry sources, these rituals serve as a sort of initiation where actors prove their allegiance to Diddy and his squad in return for fame and money. Back in the day, actor Jamie Foxx was downright desperate to gain entry into these parties. He would follow Diddy around, hoping for the day the rapper would grace him with an invitation. I'm following Puff, following Puff, and his parties were like amazing. We were in Philly one day. 
I, I fly to Philly, town car, same business, go up, but Puff say this party, Playboy, this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, nigga, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? And it seems like the higher ups heard his prayers. Jamie ended up gaining entry into Diddy's exclusive circle. At one point, he was even in charge of recording Diddy's wild escapades. Now Fox found himself blown away by how crazy these parties would get. According to him, Diddy would blow millions at these celebrations that would be attended by the likes of Jay-Z, the Neptunes, Missy Elliott, and other big names in the industry. Yeah, I said, Miss Ruth, could you please come over here? This guy by the name of Sean P. Diddy comes. I need you to come meet him. I need this for my camera. Dr. Ruth and Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel pool dancing, doing their thing, right? And you know what they're dancing to? Over in the corner, God bless, is Heavy D. Andre Harrell, and they listening to a demo. You know what the demo is? Right. Bum, 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 bum. That said, not everyone shares Jamie Foxx's and Kevin Hart's enthusiasm when it comes to attending Diddy's parties. Among these names is 50 Cent. Now, 50 has been beefing with Diddy since the 90s. From calling Diddy fruity to downright insulting him, the G-Unit leader has done it all. Now, now Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call, no, I don't call, I don't call him gay. I said, let I, me read it, let me read okay, it, read. Fifth. Oh my God. Sorry I can no longer That's help confused. you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow, Dinner Thieves, in theaters January. In recent times, the rapper stirred up trouble by taking shots at Diddy for his parties. During one of his concerts for the final lap tour, 50 went on an unexpected rant explaining why he never attends Diddy's parties. Apparently, the rapper's parties were not his style, and he felt weirdly uncomfortable at them. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time? What the fuck you talking about? No, I mean, look, if you are into that, you into that, I'm fine with it. To each his own. I'm just saying this is my motherfucking kind of party. You know, like, it's uncomfortable. I think I belong in the girls' bathroom. When shit like that is going on. All right? That said, this isn't the first time 50 has taken shots at Diddy for hosting these wild parties. Earlier in 2023, a photo of Lil Baby from Michael Rubin's all-white party went viral where Rubin and Diddy were spotted hugging Lil Baby from the front and the back. With a knack for stirring up trouble, 50 shared the photo on his Instagram with the caption, See, this is why I don't go to no party Puffy and them at. What is going on here? Get off my man. Although it's easy to chalk up 50's distaste for Diddy's parties as that of a bitter rival, Diddy's own protégés don't seem to be fans of these parties as well. Over the years, Diddy has taken several young artists under his wing and mentored them to the heights of success. Usher happens to be one of the lucky few who got the chance to learn the trade from the greatest in the game. Back in 2022, Usher sat down for an interview with Revolt Black News Weekly, revealing the monumental impact Diddy had on his career. He said, being in New York City with Diddy and being around the artists at that time, whether it was Judeci or Al B. Shore, or even the hit makers of that time, Faith Evans, it was a culture and I felt like they were ushering me in. He further added, being able to see how artists did it and what was really intended for success, I learned that you gotta grind to get in this industry. I watched that man grind. So, every bit of recognition that he's been getting and celebration for his career, I think it is well deserved, and he is an inspiration to me. Back in 2016, Usher sat down for an interview with Howard Stern and revealed that L.A. Reid arranged for him to live at Diddy's house in New York when he was only 14. I moved to New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to... In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? However, the live-in situation turned out to be more than what Usher signed up for, as he was forced to attend Diddy's infamous Flavor Camp as well. Now... Usher never revealed what went down at this flavor camp, except that he saw some wild things that he was too young to comprehend. 
Nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim. Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody and your C, were Mary okay? J. Blige. They didn't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> but here's the kicker. Howard asked Usher if Diddy's house was filled with girls, and Usher faltered before replying. Fans noticed that he laughed nervously before reiterating that he only saw some interesting things go down. Now Usher could have easily said that Diddy always had girls over at his place, if that was the case. But he seemed to dodge Howard's question. It almost looked like he was fighting an internal conflict. Should I reveal the truth behind Diddy's parties, or should I keep quiet? However, Usher's hesitancy to disclose the truth could be rooted in the possibility that he too may have been a victim. The rumors gained momentum after Diddy's drunk interview with Kevin Hart at one of his parties. During the shocking clip, Diddy revealed that he and Usher used to sleep in the same bed back in the day. And get this, Usher was not 14 as most fans had believed before. In fact, he was only 10 years old. Meanwhile, Diddy was 19 years old. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the Frosted Flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. Now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just, just say? Here? Nobody's going to acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. Seems like Diddy spilled a lot during the interview. However, he was quick to gather himself. And when he did, he quickly grabbed Kevin to shut down the interview. But the damage was done. That said, Usher is not the only one who prefers not to hang out at Diddy's parties. Denzel Washington is yet another name who wouldn't be caught dead at Diddy's place. 2009 was an eventful year for the rapper. He turned 40 that year and he chose to celebrate that milestone in true Diddy fashion. The rapper blew away $3 million for an epic birthday bash at the Plaza Hotel in New York. The black and white themed event was graced by the likes of Jay-Z, Bono, Young Jeezy, Nelly, Estelle, Rick Ross, Cassie, Martha Stewart, Kim Kardashian, and Denzel Washington. Now, following the event, Twitter was slammed with posts from celebrities speaking highly of the party. However, one person didn't join the after party, Denzel. The actor was spotted leaving Diddy's party and he did not look happy. Fans think that Denzel looked pretty shaken up. Washington is known for always treating his fans with respect. Yet here he didn't look like he was in the mood for a conversation. It appears as though the actor may have witnessed some unsettling events at Diddy's party. On the contrary, some believe that fans are scrutinizing the video excessively, arguing that Denzel was merely heading to his car after a long day. Despite this, it's worth noting that Denzel has never been seen at Diddy's parties again. Is there anything that you want to talk about that? I want to, I want to talk about... You want people to know about. I don't know if the story that I have about P. Diddy is a thing oh, that I love, know I love about. it. However, Denzel has never revealed what exactly he saw at Diddy's party. Thankfully, braver men than him have taken the mic to pull back the curtains on all the nasty stuff that goes down at Diddy's parties, including Josh Ostrovsky. The American entrepreneur better known as the Fat Jewish in online circles, had the opportunity to attend one of P. Diddy's parties in Miami, where he has one of his mansions. And let's just say he won't be going back anytime soon. Fat Jew recounted his experience in an interview, revealing that the party was attended by hundreds of people and the place was filled with pretty girls all around. The social media influencer ended up taking ecstasy at the party since everyone was doing it as well. I'm fucking goblins. I went to a party on Star Island in Miami uh, where P. Diddy has a private residence. I mm -hmm. had no business being there. Mm -hmm. I was with a famed uh, house producer who was DJing the party. Sure. And I will keep his name out of it. Yep. And I took a whole bunch of ecstasy because everyone there was taking ecstasy. It was basically me and like beautiful like ethnic models, mm -hmm. like just beautiful women. 
who I obviously had no interest in because yeah, like, that's it's a, a, the big pimpin' video. That's not my type. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna stick to Peppa, please. Yeah, we're gonna stick to Peppa, <laughs> Peppa. And, and ghouls from Us Weekly. <laughs> right, right. Um, so I'm, I'm like kind of stumbling around. It's like you know, it's all like you know, my man is telling me that like you know, every third person is some executive. Mm-hmm. You know, got behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. It's a high end crowd, very high end, and okay. there's no joke. There's maybe a hundred people. Okay. I mean, it is so far so good. However, things took a turn when Fat Jew tried looking for the bathroom. According to him, the mansion was built like a maze, and he couldn't find a single bathroom in the sprawling space. So, long story short, I am on ecstasy, and I'm trying to find the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And I can't find the bathroom, and, and I just kind of like go down a flight of stairs, and now I'm in like the inner windings of the mansion. Because yeah. most of it's going down by the pool. Okay. You know, cabanas and stuff. Dragon's Lair. Yeah, dra- right. yeah, we're getting serious. So, I get lost, and I'm in like just a maze of rooms. Yeah. Now, I'm looking for the bathroom. I... Start opening doors. One's like a closet. One's a room. It doesn't have a bathroom in it. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it. Didn't that makes sense. First of all, if you're in this fucking every dungeon, room should yeah, have, right. every house. Eventually, Fat Jew ended up in a room full of men who were all suspiciously leaning on one another. Every house so I open a door, and in that room, there are a bunch of men, mm-hmm. and they're all kind of like very like Romanesque, like laying about. And, you know, kind of like very like kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but like conversationally spooning. Like if you were spooning, but facing each other and like leaning up on your elbow and like, talking. Like, how about this? Like in public watching TV with a bunch of your friends and you're with your girlfriends. Right. Yes. It would be like those guys kind of lounging on their girlfriends, but they're not fucking because that no, would be weird in public. Fucking, right. Like you almost think that they should be feeding each other grapes. Uh-huh. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Like, it was very like. Regal was lounging. Very erotic. Okay. All right. Heavy erotic. Yeah. Like uh, like the drawings you would see of like old Greek. Yes. Uh, right. hangouts. Exactly. Yeah, I or, like a, or like a fat girl going like laid on her side. Yeah, it you would know. almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes. Oh. Here, his eyes landed on Diddy and Felix the house cat, sitting next to each other closer than they should be. As I open the door, and clearly I'm not supposed to be in there. And I look, and who is lounging in my direct eye line? Puff Daddy hmm. and Felix the house cat, famed house music producer. Yeah, no, I know are who that is. basically spooning each other. <laughs> I swear to God, they're basically spooning, and they're drinking a glass of Hennessy. And they're, like, sharing it. They're, like, passing it back and forth. And everyone's talking. And everyone's just, like, talking. Yeah. And then as soon as I see them, I'm like... All oh. men, though. There's not all one men, woman in this room. All men. And yeah. they're, all, they're all 100% on ecstasy. Like, you can see Diddy's in, like, white linen being like, Oh, my oh God. My God. <laughs> like, rub ice on my nipples. Right. You know, like, <laughs> right. oh, you're one of my best friends. Right. So the minute I make eye contact with him, like, a gigantic bouncer comes over and says, like, get the fuck out. Because a lot of people turned and looked at me because it was very unexpected that, it, like, a fat guy with an afro, right. with, like, no shirt on, basically, like, a, an open windbreaker, <laughs> right. opened the door to, like, this, like... You- now, as soon as Fat Jew made eye contact with Diddy, he decided to get the heck out of there. However, he left a mark on Diddy because after the party, Fat Jew and the rapper ended up crossing paths at a press event for a film. Diddy was in the middle of an interview when he locked eyes with Fat Jew. Out of nowhere, he stopped the interview and pointed at Fat Jew in a room full of people, asking him where he'd seen him before. Now Fat Jew blurted out Miami, and Diddy got silent after that. At a junket for a movie that he was in, uh, someone is interviewing him. I'm in the back as a friend of someone who was there. Mm-hmm. I'm all the way in the back. I'm behind a million publicists and a million people. But you see him. Well, he's being interviewed on and the And you're thinking about it. Oh, I'm thinking about it the whole time. Yeah. By the way, anyone I ever told the story to was like, oh, you're a liar. I don't think you're a liar. Everybody was like, you're a liar. Like, I'm sure something happened and they knew I was on Star Island. Like, that was verified yeah. by the other person I was with. Sure. But people were like, you're a liar. You didn't see them sharing a glass of Hennessy. Like, you didn't see Prelude to, like, an orgy. Like, this is bullshit. Like, right. you're being funny. Like, that you's hilarious. Sure. So, um, a couple of people said they believed me, but I think they were lying. So, <laughs> um, he looks, he's being interviewed in the middle of the interview for this movie. I mean, I'm sure you can guess what movie it is. Because I think he was only in a movie. Right. Um, at least recently. Yes. He literally stops the interview and he points at me all the way in the back and he goes, yo, you, my man. And everyone in the room turns around and looks at me and he goes, where do I know you from? Oh, no. And then I go, Miami. And he goes, oh, true. And we locked eyes again and he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew <laughs> that he drinks the milk of other men. Fat Jew talked about feeling scared after the event. He feared that Diddy would send people to his house to silence him. Thankfully, nothing like that happened. All because Fat Jew made the smart move of documenting his experiences online. So, in case something did happen, the internet would know who to point fingers at. 
you nervous at all in like a Breaking Bad kind of way that maybe people were going to be sent to your house or something? Like, a oh, 100%. Because I'd be a little nervous. See, now, what, what I'm doing to combat that yeah. is by talking about it publicly on, on and then you're, podcasts. Yeah, because this will come back. Right, and, yeah. right. Because yeah. I'm most safe if I talk about it publicly. That's so crazy. <laughs> right. However, not everyone who attends Diddy's parties stays sane enough to tell the tale. Take YK Osiris for one. You think... Rapping and singing is a blessing. You're not using God in vain, in his name in vain. That's not a blessing from God. Stop saying it's a blessing from God. It's not a blessing. It's a blessing, for, it's a blessing from the devil. The Florida rapper emerged on the scene as a promising young artist in 2017. Following his debut on the internet, it didn't take him long to be picked up by Def Jam Recordings. However, YK Osiris' stint with Def Jam Recordings proved to be a short one as he only released one album the Golden Child, under the label. After being let go from Def Jam Recordings, YK Osiris' career kinda took a nosedive. However, that's where Diddy came swooping in. As a front runner in the game, Diddy probably promised to show YK the ropes. However, what fans weren't expecting was spotting YK on a vacation with Diddy in Jamaica. Now, keep in mind that YK was struggling financially during this time. He had blown off all his money and had nothing in the bank. So it meant that Diddy paid for the trip. Things took a concerning turn when YK reposted a photo of a shirtless Diddy on his Instagram with the praying emojis. Now why would YK feel the need to share a picture of a shirtless Diddy? He was asked about the trip to Jamaica during an interview with The Breakfast Club, and surprisingly, YK found himself at a loss of words. He laughed off the questions and lied that he wasn't in Jamaica with Diddy, but someone else. Okay, I, I, I was uh, with a shawty. Alright, but Diddy was there. No, he was what? a whole other different... Oh, so they just made this up? Yeah, they made it up, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, he was in a whole other different area. Like, he was... Like... <laughs> yeah. Have you ever met Diddy? Yeah. Okay, did he ask you to party? Yeah. Party, <laughs> party? Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for YK, fans didn't buy his lies. Following the trip, rumors surfaced that YK was Diddy's boy toy. That's the crazy rumor? Yeah. I don't know about the room. What, what rumors, right? What, uh, they say, uh, nah, I ain't gonna say that. I heard about that, though, but I ain't about to say that. But, what? Yeah, was I ain't about to say that. Did you and Diddy? You and Diddy? Yeah. Yeah, you and Diddy. You and Diddy what? You and Diddy. No. They, they said he was... <laughs> him and Diddy what? I'm gonna say the rumor. I ain't never heard this, Wacky. They said he was... He was <laughs> how you knew that? How you, why, how you know that? Now I'm about to Google, because I ain't never <laughs> heard this one. Because huh? like, you... That's the, nobody would ever say that one. Oh, like, yeah. So here goes Envy. They said that he said he was Diddy's boy toy. Uh, yeah, what? I, I was in Jamaica with him. The fact that YK had a mental breakdown on his Instagram a while later didn't help things either. During the shocking footage, he talked about unaliving himself. He even mentioned that he had no friends in the industry, which came as a shock to fans since he used to be tight with Diddy. Fucking everybody, like, nigga, this shit is not right, my nigga. So what the fuck I'm living for? Like, why the fuck I'm on this earth for? Like, why, like, Osiris, why you have even, like, why you have even, like, this, this fucking crash, like, this do something that, that, like, at this point, like, why the fuck you on this earth still? Like, why you still, why the fuck you, like, why the hell you on this earth? Why, when nobody fucks with you? It's like, you don't have nobody. Like, what the fuck are you on this earth for? YK also called out fans for praising artists in the industry. In his eyes, they were all devils who had managed to fool the public. Man, give me all these, all these stupid ass talks. Oh, this God bless it. What God wants you to do? No, this is not what God wants you to do. You go through all this shit. The devil give you all this money. Go through all this shit to destroy yourself. You, 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 you destroy yourself. This is not God blessing, my nigga. God don't want you to do no, God don't want you to talk about no sex, money, cars, clothes, and hoes. What, much, what makes you think it's a blessing? What makes you think that? It appears that YK ventured too close to Diddy's orbit and paid the ultimate price, sacrificing his sanity in the process. Given YK's downfall and his close relationship with Diddy, it seems like there might be some truth to the rumors about Diddy exploiting young artists at his parties for his personal satisfaction after all. So whether it's Kevin Hart spilling the beans or Jamie Foxx pulling back the curtains on Diddy's wild parties, Diddy's rowdy gatherings sound like something straight out of an R-rated film. It's an exclusive event for the chosen few. Fans might have turned a blind eye if it were just nights filled with drug-fueled celebrations and endless drinking. However, 
that's not the case. These gatherings serve as a setting for Diddy and his inner circle to exploit young artists. As more industry sources step forward to blow the horn on what goes on behind closed doors, one cannot help but wonder if Diddy's days of partying are nearing their end. The recent revelations have certainly shaken the ground beneath the rapper. At this point, there's no telling what the future holds for Diddy. Is this where it ends for the rapper? Will more close comrades jump ship to avoid sharing the music mogul's fate? Only time will tell. However, one thing's for sure. The rapper will need to dig into his war chest to weather this storm. In the meanwhile, stay tuned and keep it rizzle as we keep an eye out for any cracks in Diddy's empire.